Okay, so I'm here with Anto. We're going to talk German. No, you got. You went for the Waffen. He's corrected me, by the way, off camera. It's not Waffen. How dare you slap? It's Waffen. So the Waffen SS with a Panther, is it? Yeah, yeah, Panther. Uh, don't look too closely at the glue now. <laughs> ah, sorry, primer will cover that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That well. <laughs> right, what made you go for this force? Um, just because I thought to be really elite, you know, and I thought I might be able to get a small force on, on the table for, you know, a, a fast amount of points. And, yeah, it just really hammered the guy across me. Yeah. yeah. Alessio, what's the options with this particular force? What is it that... Well, I, I found out fighting against these guys that actually is very... Uh, Cross combat is horrible against these guys because they're, they're fanatics. So, so the idea is that even if you beat them, they keep fighting. So you have to actually kill them all to the last man. It's right. really, really, like really tough. Yeah, Sounds it's good. really tough. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, the arguably, pump. arguably the best tank in the war. Really? Uh, you know, <clears throat> Well, um, that gun. Um, um, Stug? No. Yeah, Stug. Mm. Um, I said tank. Yeah. The tank destroyer. Yeah. Don't get pedantic with me, Cavatore. You should always say pedantic. So somebody then would correct you and say, no, no, it's pedantic. <laughs> <laughs> you go, wow. <laughs> now, what makes this potentially the best tank of the war? And more importantly, what makes it the best tank of the game? Well, in terms of the war, clearly. Uh, after they fixed the, the initial problems with, uh, with actually with the mechanics of it, because it tended to break down a lot at the beginning. But then, when they fixed that, I mean, this gun, the L70, uh, 75 mil, it is same kind of almost the same level of penetration as an 88 from a Tiger, but smaller, lighter, more ammunition. Uh, the, the front armor being sloped. You know, the Tiger has a flat armor. Yeah. This is sloped, and it, it, basically in terms of protection, possibly even better. Pew! Just at the front. Yeah. yeah. So the sides were considerably weaker but made the tank a lot lighter so yeah. quite fast yeah fast relatively man maneuverable with a very very good frontal protection and one of the best guns in the, in the game so in the game in the war a bit more bruce lee rather than brick force oh! <laughs> <laughs> now uh, the war oh yeah, yeah yeah it's important and all the game Okay. The game. Well, the game. How is it reflected in the game? This is the hardest anti-tank gun. It is the super heavy anti-tank gun. So yes. the, the, they don't get harder than this in terms of anti-tank gun. So this goes through everything, mm -hmm. matching up with extreme ease. So the best anti-tank gun in the, in the game, for armor 10, same yeah. as, a, as a heavy tank, mm -hmm. even though it's a medium tank. The front arm, only the front arm, is kind of like upped by one level. Mm -hmm. So it makes it really, if you keep your distance, basically, it's like it sits back, protects it by his front arm, or and takes out any vehicle. Yeah. Any. So against other vehicles, this is lethal. Are there any options for it? Can you stick flamethrowers or anything on that? <laughs> That'd be nice. It would be nice, yeah, wouldn't it? <laughs> Why does he always get to the flamethrower? Well, you know, <laughs> flamethrowers driving over people, you know? Yeah, it's it's, yeah, it's garbage. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's talk about the rest of the Alessio. What what can we do with these guys? Uh, you know, what's the... Uh, What's the Please tactic? Enlighten me, enlighten me. Well, like, like we've seen before with uh, the other elite forces, I mean, the British Paras, the, the, the American Paratroopers, elite forces, you have to be careful because yep. obviously you don't have many men. So, uh, one thing you really don't like with this type of force is how it serves high explosive, big explosion, because Killing this individually with, with, uh, with normal small arms is difficult. These guys are really tough, really easy, difficult to take out. So if you you know keep in cover, keep them safe, uh, just put out your huge firepower, great. Be very wary of how it's their explosive stuff because that, that can actually wipe out an entire team and that's a lot of points gone. So, so is it a case of sneak, 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 surprise? It's a case of take out first the things that can really hurt you. Oh, Always right, concentrate okay. on the things. So, you know, you're like, oh, have they got a... Panzerfaust and stuff like that to do that? Kind they of can thing? have those options for if there's vehicles. Panzerfaust are good against vehicles. Yep. Uh, Oh, there's, a, there's a panther strike there, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so an anti tank. That's for that's for taking out vehicles, else. really. Uh, but yeah, so basically, my my advice would be well, take out the. Particularly if, you have, if the enemy has a, a light hours or a medium hours, yeah. your mortar, your mortar is very good. Yeah. Because artillery pieces have to stay still to fire. Well, a mortar, if you fire some a, a mortar, every even if you miss, if you keep firing at the same target and the target doesn't move, you get easier and easier and easier because you're ranging in. in. Yeah. But so. If the, if the gas stays there, you're zeroing in. So he actually starts, he wants to move to avoid your zeroing in, but if he's moving, he's not shooting at you. So yeah, that's a good thing. How do they rate as an entry level army? Well, you have fewer models to move, which in a way makes it easier because you have fewer yeah. things to think about. 
Uh, but just how the game works, a pin in and that with fewer units, it's it's putting in the back four really. If, if you if you rely a lot on, on pinning the, the enemy, absolutely. Uh, it's more, I mean, four damage with more units is better. But these guys rely on basically the, the, the strength or power of Basically, I can just pick something and the other guy's army and delete if I want it. What yeah. kind of weapons have you given them? Um, I don't know. Kristen gave me a hand picking <laughs> what was there. So uh, Looks like a whole bunch of machine guns to me. Yeah, machine know. guns is a good option. Yes, indeed. Germans tend to do well. I see assault rifles. Assault rifles are very good. Yeah, yeah. Assault rifles are also awesome. yeah. good. You know, basically in the game. Uh, yeah. they, 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 well, we will keep a close eye on this army during the boot camp and see sure. how you get on. We've talked to these guys today as they've been building their armies, but we will go back around and visit each of them again after their first day's gaming, just to see how you feel about your army once you've had a chance to play it. Alessio, well, thank you very much. Anto, thank, yeah, thank you, you for that. Right, we're starting to draw to a close. The armies are almost ready. It's almost pub time. Remember, you could win one of three D-Day Firefight two-player starter sets. And to be in with a chance of that, all you have to do is put comments in and around all this boot camp stuff this weekend, and we'll be picking three winners at random. Right, I think that about wraps it up. I think I want to go and talk to John about his uniform.